Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, and soon I will be dedicating an entire video on my hiatus, but for now, let's get into this practice piece that I really wanted to do. As you can see, I'm cleaning up all of the extra pencil markings that I don't want necessarily seen in the final piece. I didn't really show how I went from sketchbook to the iPad, so if y'all want to see a tutorial on how I do this, just let me know as well. Next, I blocked out the colors of the sketch with the mid-tone color for the skin. This is really optional, but since I didn't necessarily make a sketch layer or an inking layer on Procreate, I can't really reference it. So this is the easiest way for me to lay a foundation and set aside blocks for different parts that I want to split into layers later on. When I blocked in the colors for the sweater and the hair, I started off by doing it on a clipping layer. but I ended up going back to the mid-tone layer, the base layer, and selecting all around it, and then erasing just the access parts in the sweater and the hair layer, so that way I didn't have to clip them. And the reason why I did that is so that way when I added the shadows and the highlight to the hair and to the sweater, it wouldn't accidentally spill out to other parts that I didn't want it to go to. Rendering clothing is still something I'm learning how to do, but I just made sure to try and match the shadows from the reference. My goal is to use the right amount of hard and soft shadows to get the texture of the clothing the way that I want it to be. I will definitely practice drawing clothing textures more to strengthen my overall art style because I want to work on developing my character designs for upcoming projects. When it came to rendering the skin, I have my moments where I do it really well and other moments where I fail at it. You all can be the judge of how I did in this particular drawing in the comment sections, but for me, I like to work on the shadows first. It helps me to map out my highlights and my light source. And when it comes to lighting for the skin, I like to think of it in three parts. The first part is rendering to add dimension, so I don't really focus on like any particular highlights. I just want to make sure that it turns from a 2D drawing to more of a 3D drawing. And that second rendering of lighting is where I'll add in highlights like I did to the side of her forehead or to her eyebrow. And then the third layer of lighting would be any bounce light if there's a second source of lighting. but. For this one, there wasn't a second source of lighting, so it was just mainly the first layer of lighting to add dimensions and the second layer just to do any highlights that I felt like she needed.
is probably still the hardest thing for me to do. I wanted to maintain the fluffiness and the airiness of the hair that was in the reference photo while also emphasizing the parts of the hair that the curls were defined with. Um, I wanted the overall piece to look cohesive so I didn't want to add too many details to the hair or too much detail to the hair excuse me and the rest of the piece look like it's not really finished yet and it'll throw it off a bit so I wanted the hair to be done I wanted to define what I could but I didn't want to do too much so this is how it came out And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for those of you who have stayed throughout my hiatus. I know it's been over a year since I last posted, and I promise you all, it's it was for my mental health, and I came back a better person and a better artist. So until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I will be back very, very soon. I promise. Bye, guys.